on the bench today I have some 2N3055 power transistors. These transistors in the back are the old ones. These came out of an old uh, power supply that I'm working on. And these are the new replacements here. So I'm just going to show really quick, um, kind of a quick and easy way to test these transistors. And if you take a look at the bottom of the transistor, you'll notice that the two leads are sort of off-center a bit. And in this orientation, the leads are kind of closer to the surface of the desk or the bottom, I guess, if you want to call it that on this orientation. So when the transistor is oriented like this, the case is the collector. This pin over here on the left is the emitter. And this pin on the right is the base. Okay, in order to test the transistor, you can see here that I've got an old Radio Shack manual range meter set up and I've got it set to the 4 mega ohm position. Now uh, attached to my negative lead here I've got a green uh, alligator clip wire and I'm going to connect that to my emitter pin on the transistor which is the left side pin. The next thing that I'll do is I'll take the positive lead and I will connect that to the case or collector of the transistor. So now to test the transistor and see if it turns on, I'm going to short the base pin with this white wire to the collector of the transistor to see if it conducts. When I do this, you should see the resistance drop to a measurable level. Okay, and you can see there when I do touch the lead to the case, we now have uh, 1.185 mega ohms resistance. So it is conducting. The transistor is doing what it's supposed to do. And if I remove the lead there, you can see the transistor turns back off and uh, now has you know more resistance than the meter can measure in this range. Now for um, comparison's sake, I've got one of the old transistors here that I'll connect up the same way that I had the other one connected. I'll connect the emitter to the negative side. I'll collect the collector or connect the collector to the positive side. And then I will try and turn the transistor on by shorting the base pin to the collector. And you should be able to see there in the meter that the resistance is still uh, high. And in fact, if I go up to the 40 mega ohm range in this case, you can also see that nothing's happening. So this transistor is dead. dead. Well, I guess that'll just about do it for testing these power transistors. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching.